Good morning, everyone. Glad you could all make it out to a, uh, in many ways, a historic event here. Uh, I'm sure you're aware the Salvation Army has been around for a long time, since uh, the 1800s, in fact, and here in New Orleans doing uh, tremendous work, particularly post-Katrina. Um, I have been told that in the United States over uh, 32 million people have been helped by the Salvation Army, and obviously a large part of that revolves around donations. And today's visionary gift, just let me say that it will be the largest post-Katrina gift to the New Orleans Salvation Army. That is a visionary gift, no question about it. It's going to go to tremendous use here in the area and in a lot of different parts of New Orleans. It's a donation that comes from a gentleman we're all very familiar with. He's maintaining his giving legacy. It started when he brought the NBA back to New Orleans in 2002. It's a legacy that he continues by sharing. And this is just part of his nature. And the nature, of course, was something we saw a lot of post-Katrina when the team returned full-time, reaching out to the community and helping teachers, firemen, just everyday citizens in a lot of different ways. And so we are very thankful to have you back in town. I'm very pleased to have you make an incredible gesture to a New Orleans community that is still recovering from Katrina. Of course, one of our greatest assets in this town is just the fact that we love who we are, what we are, and what we can become. And uh, the first gentleman that I want to bring up here is a guy who talks constantly about his passion for the city, his passion for its residents, and the passion for the future here in the Big Easy. I think he's a great reflection of those values, so please let me bring to the podium first and foremost the President of the New Orleans City Council, Arnie Philco. Thank you, Bob, for those uh, very kind remarks. And uh, Mr. Shin, Mrs. Shin, Hugh, the entire Hornets leadership team here, um, I am so honored to be with you for this uh, very special announcement today. And Mr. Shin, I think you embody all that makes our city great. Uh, you are a New Orleanian, will always be a New Orleanian. And the fact that you're making this type of contribution towards the city and those that need it the most is uh, tremendously appreciated by our community. Um, we have made great strides over the last six years in our city. We have worked on challenges that, quite honestly, I'm not sure any of us knew we could work on before that terrible event and weekend occurred uh, almost six years ago. We have made strides in education, we've made strides in recreation, and today we're making a tremendous stride in the area of housing. I can tell you as somebody that has seen it on both sides, both private sector and now public sector, that the contributions that the New Orleans Hornets have made, in particular their ownership group and their leadership team, have been incredible. They got it right from the very beginning. They got New Orleans. They understood what our needs were, what our challenges were, and they said, you know, we're not gonna talk about it, we're gonna do it. And it's amazing as somebody in government now for almost five years, to be able to sit back and go to these events, go to all of the schools that the Hornets have participated in, go to playground after playground and see the courts that are being built and to see our kids take advantage of that. Very, very special. And today's announcement deals with yet another big challenge for us and that's in the area of housing. I think all of us that have seen New Orleans over the last few years understand that the homeless issue we have in this city is significant. It's a very difficult challenge. I'm pleased that the city just named a homeless czar that's going to help us tackle and bring best practices. But I think all of the experts will tell you that you don't just solve that problem by creating a house. You have to build things around that home. You have to have permanent supporting housing. You have to be able to develop a true family unit that takes care of the person, their mental health, their physical health, 
economic opportunities, and the whole gamut that will put on a, a path to a better way of life. Today, Mr. and Mrs. Shin and the Foundation, you are doing exactly that. This is an incredible financial donation that you're making through an incredible organization with the Salvation Army. And I have no doubt that as experts on the ground, they're going to use this money very wisely for the benefit of our community. Thank you from the bottom of our hearts. The city of New Orleans is very appreciative. Thank you, Arnie, very much. You spoke of uh, leadership. And that gets me to our next speaker because uh, leadership is a, a large part of every single organization that is helping in the post-Katrina recovery. The gentleman who helped bring the Hornets back in uh, the 2007-2008 season full-time is the leader of the New Orleans Hornets organization that's been reaching out to the community since the day they set ground here. Please welcome Hornets team president, Hugh Weber. Thank you, Bob. And thank you for being here as we uh, share this extraordinary news about a very special gift from a very special person. Um, you know, the Hornets, and I've had the privilege of working very closely with George, um, not only as a someone who is tasked to do what the organization and his vision could be, but also as a, a person who became my brother in blood, real, real, real time. And we've been through some battles, and I will tell you, um, he is someone who is generous beyond any understanding that we could have. And just now, when we make announcements like this, we see uh, the depth of his work, but know that this team would not be here in New Orleans. This team would not be out doing the things that President Philco talked about if it weren't for his vision, for his commitment, and his sacrifice to make sure the team had a legacy here in this city. The only thing I can say about George is that he's a tremendous promoter. He's a tremendous promoter for the Hornets, and now he's a tremendous promoter for his faith and for this city. And for that, it's more valuable than any check that you could ever write, because he will continue to go out and promote and build a legacy in this community for generations to come. And for that, I'd like to bring up George to say a few words. Thank you, Hugh. You don't need to say all those nice things. I'm no longer <laughs> signing your check. But uh, it's a pleasure to be here. We uh, I still consider New Orleans our home and a very special place. And uh, when I first uh, went through or got the fear of the word that we all are frightened of, the word cancer, it. Uh, somewhat flipped my life upside down and during this time of going through the uh, all the things that I had to go through and and not just a men mention the mental uh, attitude adjustment I had to go through I, uh, I did an awful lot of praying on my knees and asking God to deliver me from this and that I would spend the rest of my days uh, doing what I could to serve him and that's really why that at this point in time I decided the best thing for me to do was to sell the Hornets and so when I was contacted by the captain here to uh, of a project he had in mind I said that's wonderful like, what can I do to help he said well write me a check for a half a million dollars and you can help so uh, that's how it all got started, and, and uh, uh, I, Denise and I talked about it and prayed about it and felt like it was something that uh, we could do to help and that uh, we know that there are needs here and that uh, we want to do what we can to help such a wonderful organization like the Salvation Army that's done so much for this community. I can remember uh, going to see different in different communities after the storms of what you guys did. It was just amazing. And uh, we're here to support in any small way or big way that we can to help to keep New Orleans moving in a positive direction. And with that, I'll, the money always passes through her hands, so I'll let her give you the check, Captain. <laughs> Thank you very much. 
Captain, I think you're going to say something. I do have a few words. Okay. Thank you. I want you join me with thanking the, the Sims. And thank you for coming today. And I think that the significance of the gift may allow for a few moments of reflection. Will you allow that uh, today? Uh, first, thank you very much for being here. You are an important part of the Salvation Army. Councilman, thank you for coming and sharing that love that we have in the city. One of the things that I've appreciated from Mr. Shin right from the beginning when, was when he explained to me that New Orleans is the only NBA team that starts every meeting with prayer because that's the only way he would have it. And I knew at that moment that we were like in heart because we know that only by God are all things possible. And we thank God, and as you know, I, I trust from our notes and our prayers that our prayers have been for your family, and we are so pleased to see you today, to see God's faithfulness in your living, in your continued testimony. Deuteronomy says from 15, 7 and 8, If there is a poor man with you, one of your brothers, in any of your towns or in your land which the Lord is giving you, you shall not harden your heart nor close your hand from your poor, but you shall freely open your hand to him and shall generously lend him sufficient for whatever his need and whatever he lacks. You have been that testimony to us. Mr. Shin, thank you for your faith. Thank you for your leadership and thank you for your generosity. Thank you as a family because you've been good not only to New Orleans, but you've been good to those who the Salvation Army has been able to serve. Thank you that through your love and your service, you bring hope to others. Great leaders give generously, and you are a great leader. Great leaders through and through. Since the storm, we have partnered with the Hornets and with the Shins in many ways. We started in a relationship that has been referred to in Hoops for Homes that helped more than 90 teachers come home. And it was a program that inspired the Salvation Army to invest other funds into the capacity of the community. And that became because of the Hornets' passion to bring teachers back to the community that the community so desperately needed. After Hurricane Gustav, Mr. Shin, the Hornets administration, and the Salvation Army were down in Homa serving tens of thousands of meals. Our top was 30,000 meals in a day. Now, when you hear the Hornets are coming, usually you think that there's going to be a photo op. But that's only if you've never met them. They didn't come for a photo op. They worked eight hours that day serving meals. The greatest difficulty we had was we had to move the honeybees down because the line kept slowing up where they were. <laughs> But you, Weber, Mr. Shin, all of the Hornets administration, they worked so hard, they got dirty, and they were diligent. Thank you for that. That testimony means a great deal for us. Through the Salvation Army and the Hornets, we've been able to serve thousands of students through the Emerge program because you care about the education of young people as, as your life is a testimony of that, and we thank you for that. And then one of our fond memories, which many people wouldn't know, is every year the Shins would come, they would get a list of everybody who lived in the Salvation Army, and they would send before them new shoes at Christmas time. And I tell you, if you want to see the power of a gift, you should see homeless men and women receiving, we don't want to lose that. My apologies. But you should see men and women and children with a new pair of shoes on at Christmas. And the Shins would share with us a story of growing up in Kannapolis and fighting their way through in order to change the world. And that was inspiring. We thank you for that. And now a combination of love in this service, the George Shin Family Village. This gift supports a vision of the Salvation Army in New Orleans that with too many blighted properties, I won't number them because this is a good news day. Right, Councilman? But with too many blighted properties, and with an increase of homeless working families that are in the Salvation Army shelter, with an increase in veteran families that are experiencing homelessness, with an increase in children that are experiencing homelessness, we believe at the Salvation Army that it's time for a new model. 
It's a time to stop putting people, when we can, into centers of hope like this, and instead putting them back into the communities where they live, where they love, and where they're family. And so this visionary gifts gives us the opportunity to connect the work that we've done in recovery for the last five years with the work that we've done with the homeless for the last 125 years. We're celebrating 125 years this year. And it allows us to connect it together and envision what family stabilization units can look like. New housing units and the quality of hoops for homes. New housing units and the quality of restoration that allows working families the opportunity to live in neighborhoods. You see, we celebrate a culture. It used to be when a family had a trouble, they just moved with an aunt down the road. They move in with a grandmother. They move in with a friend. But a lot of those aunts and grandmothers aren't there anymore. But to celebrate the culture, the family stabilization units will say, you don't have to move out of your neighborhood. You can stay, become stable, be loved, and be made whole. So thank you for visioning with us for the working class poor, for those who have had difficulties, who need a hand up, but someone who can say, it's okay if you were at the last of your class because you held everybody else up. Thank you today for making this gift because with your generosity through the Salvation Army is you will continue to be the ones that hold others up before God in faith, in hope, and in leadership. And our prayers will remain for you. Thank you very much, and God bless you.